<laughs> I see. I think that's good, though. I think I'm gradually starting to understand Akane a little better. After standing around awkwardly for a bit, I left the area. Mm, there should be time for me to move around more freely. Okay, so first of all, let's go to my skills. Now that I actually know how to do that. If I can remember. <laughs> Ooh, I got four hope fragments from her now. Awesome. I, I literally cannot remember how to do it. There we go. Okay. What? Oh, that means I already have it. <laughs> ah, I can't remember. Yeah, I'll do that. Don't really need that. Don't really need that. That. That I'll take. I'd like that, but that's kind of expensive. Well, that's interesting. Oh, that's during the panic talk. Never mind. Hmm. What does that mean, sharpness? Oh, that makes it easier to break up the things. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. I don't know if that helped me. Okay, I guess that's all I have. Alright, that sounds good for now. Uh, let's go find... Fuyuhiko. So he'll be in the Strawberry Tower. Or, Strawberry House. Sorry. Let's gun them. That's both of them. Oh yeah, I guess she moves. That's for you, Hiko, okay. Go here! I bet he would love the height raising shoes, because he is short. Yo. Well, he really has changed a lot. Looks like Fuyuhiko and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give Fuyuhiko a present? Definitely. <laughs> See, this is kind of an awkward gift, because I'm sure he would love it, but you never want to get this kind of gift, you know? It's... It's like somebody giving you, or somebody offering you a mint, or somebody offering to buy you cologne. Like, <laughs> you don't want to get that as a gift. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought he probably wouldn't like that.
A dream, huh? Yeah, see, that's actually what I think. <laughs> Sorry. Obviously, you'd be thinking about that more than I would. Well. This guy's always known violence and death. I see. He's used to it. No. Jeez. Hey. That's a pretty outrageous home life. The worlds we both live in couldn't be more different. Like... Echo. Ah, I'm sorry. I made you remember something painful. Huh? The internet made me apologize to you, okay? Good for you. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Good for you. Bastard. I don't know what else to say to him. Anyway, it's not much, but I am starting to get to know Fuyuhiko a little better. Oh, I got a hope fragment anyway. Okay. That's nice. I bet it differs the points you have to spend on skills. There should be time for me to move around more freely. Okay, so I get one more shot. Hmm. That's probably only my sec- yeah, that's only my second with him. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I've already got one with Nekomaru. I mean, I don't want to, but I kind of feel like I should with Nagito. Let me save. I feel like I haven't saved in a while. Okay, Nagito, where be ye? Here he be. I was just... I, I keep forgetting they can change locations. <laughs> There's Kazuichi. I've already given him something. Ugh. I have to go back into that room. Yuck. All right, Nagito. Hello there. Swimmingly. Fine. He hasn't kind of tried to kill anyone in a while, so let's go ahead and do that. Impossible. <laughs> Particularly about how crazy he is. I guess Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Sure. Why the hell not? There was an item that I thought I gave him already. Yeah, I must have because I don't have it anymore. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Okay, so... Fuck it. I apparently can't build any hope with him right now. Okay, I swear, guys, I just... One more. I want to try one more time. One more time. Let me go talk to Sony. If I can't get another hope crystal, I'll move on. I promise. Okay, Miss Sonia, never mind. Yes. I probably don't deserve. 
Why don't I deserve it? But it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Yes. What would you like to give her? Let's see. Gotta figure it out. BRB. I don't feel like I actually gave that to her, but I think she might like it. Yes! Um most tight. <laughs> Since I haven't talked to her before. Oh my. I <laughs> They keep it delightfully vague, so you can use it any time. Who's joking? However... Well? The way she said that sounded a little dangerous. If this were my homeland, so would this be okay in your country? <laughs> when I speak to Sonia, I somehow feel really positive and optimistic. What she's saying sounds odd, but she certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. Ah, that reminds me. What was the name of your country? As I recall, the country's name was... Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was this one. Yes! Hello, memory. <laughs> Novozelish, I guess. Well, it's not a country I've ever heard of. It really does sound like a kingdom. So since you're the princess of that kingdom, does that mean you live in a castle or something? Yes. Of course. So castles really do have those. Um. Hmm? If I can answer it, it's fine. What? <laughs> Hello! Huh? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Well? I continued to listen to Sonya extensively talk about Japanese dramas. At least now I totally understand that she's a major J-drama fangirl. Here we go. Got a hope fragment for Sonya. After politely excusing myself from my long conversation with Sonya, I left the area. Mm, what time is it right now? Huh. It's already 10 p.m. Just as I thought, I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows or Monokuma announcements. It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. Hmm. So it seems like it's telling me to go to bed. Okay, so it is telling me to go to bed. Especially if we don't have any food. I better get some rest. <clears throat> Trying to do my very best not to worry. But even I have my limits. I'm... Will you shut up? Viva killing! 
won't do it. Seven in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> bye bye. Okay, so I guess I should probably go down there and sleep. At least that's what I would do if I were in this situation. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. Pulled up the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs, and went to sleep. I've been there. Sometimes I've gone to sleep just so I don't feel hungry. I was on a strict diet, okay? Okay, that one's disturbing. What? This is troubling. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. Hmm. 6.30. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather at Grape Tower by 7. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. So it's not going to let me fast travel, is what you're saying. And I'm guessing that's because I'm in a room, but whatever. I'll just go downstairs. Grape Tower! Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Uh. I mean... This isn't about just you. We're all getting screwed here. Yes, please. Hey. <laughs> What's this? Damn it. Um. No, no. Healthy. Really? <sighs> Make optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself. 
from the tension of your conscious self. Three, two. Control your breathing. Slowly and softly. Move as if you're drawing a sword. Two. Yeah. Naturally. Just as you are. Relax. Your body and this is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? Hey, over there. Don't dawdle. Never done Tai Chi, I'll admit. You. You guys. That is. Man, he is really, really desperate to make Damn us kill it. each other. Damn it! Kind of hungry too. His eyes look like eggs. This is troubling. This too must be the will of causality. Damn it! What are you saying? Calm down. Shut up! Shut up! Damn it! Hey! I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Oh, will you shut up already? What are you saying? Hey! Boy, he is super paranoid. Stop! So... Good point. It appears you cannot escape. I... <laughs> Conversation ended there. It seems nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing. So, we silently left Grape Tower. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. Okay, so I got more free time. Even though it's depressing, because we're all dying. Uh, what I got here? Him. Let's talk to him. Oh, he was just around the corner. <laughs> huh? Yes, you should. Understood. <laughs> Yes, I would. Okay, gotta figure out what he'd like. Be right back. I don't know why he would enjoy this, but I'm gonna take a shot. Yeah! <laughs> why is he groaning? I don't know how to say it, but the way he's looking at me is making me extremely uncomfortable. Hmm. What? What? Nekamara felt me all over my body before I quickly broke free. What's going on? <laughs> huh? Jeez. 
Huh? Whether or not he decides, he's treating me like an athlete for some reason, but it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> I don't really want to think about it, though. Necromower's probably talking about... That would be rugby. Pay attention! I've never heard that before. Oh. Kachunk, <laughs> <laughs> kachunk, Nekumara walked away with a big smile on his face. Even if he compliments me, I don't think I'd be any good at rugby. Or do I really have that kind of natural ability? My heart is swayed. Is this the work of the ultimate team manager's scouting skill? I should return to my cottage for now. Do you mean guest room? <laughs> there should still be time for me to move around more freely. But what should I do? Dokey. Let's go ahead and save again. I'm getting a lot of hope crystals here. Who also should I see? Oh god. This whole row down here is dead. That's creepy. Hmm. Nagito doesn't seem to, to like anything I give him. I'll go ahead and go see Gundam. Ah, oh, yes. He's here, letting his... Hamsters. Feast, I'm sure. I feel like there's gotta be a Monokuma figure here somewhere. But anyway. Hello, Gundam. Fiend. I spent time with Gundam today, who seemed quiet and somewhat sluggish. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Yes, I would. Once again, guys, gotta figure out what to give him. Be right back. I'm just gonna try this. I don't think it's gonna work, but here we go. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. You mean your hamsters? I thought they were docile animals. How pitiful. He actually makes a good point. No joke, I had hamsters once, and one of them literally ate its child. Fall, my dear. I know that's creepy, but it actually happened, I swear. Listen well. Ah, 
I never noticed that. Let me huh. ask. What? <laughs> Those aren't real things. So I'm just gonna go golden hamster? No. I got a feeling about Jungarian hamster. Whatever. Fall, my tears. God damn it. You! You're totally right. Wait, now's not the time to be impressed. Uh. Fuck it, golden hamster. Okay. It was close. It appears you cannot escape. This too must be the will of causality. Hmm. I certainly didn't know that. Nature. The collective will of the world. This body is uncooperative. How foolish of me! I don't really understand what he's saying, but he seems to be worried about the hamsters he left behind. They were probably taking care of other animals, right? Are those demon beasts okay too? Let's make history. <laughs> <laughs> I shall engulf this world. Cool. He's crazy prepared. Or just crazy. Listening to Gundam makes me rethink how much of a responsibility it is to raise pets. What do you yearn for? How pitiful. Ten hundred and ninety-five days? That's three years? Seriously? They only live three years? Actually, I kind of had- I had hamsters when I was a kid. That may be right. Another hope fragment. It's cool that while we're starving, I get to, uh, hang out with all my friends, quote-unquote. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. If this keeps going, if this keeps going until I die, what am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously gonna go crazy. Exit. I need to find the exit. Where is it? Where is the exit? Damn it! Where the fuck is the exit? I think that's it. The life-threatening game, eh? <laughs> Sounds good to me. How do you know that? I should go to the final dead room. I have barely any energy left. I can't even run decently. I don't really know what it feels like to be starving. What can I say? I've been blessed and I've lived a pretty comfortable life. But I know it can't be fun. Okay. So. Let's go do this. That's where it wants me to go. God damn it. I gotta go through. Oh, it won't let me run. <laughs> that's that's nice attention to detail. 
Okay. Whew. I'm not really scared of clowns, but that's kind of creepy. Okay, not gonna lie. I'm a little terrified to go inside this room. But what the hell? Let's do this. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's, that's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out with this. I can finally get out. Hold it. Cause it's bad. What do we have to lose? That's not true, Chiaki. The exit's gonna be here. I guess okay. Chiaki and I went back to the grape house together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starving to death and there's no way to escape. See, you can live for quite a while without food. You can't live for more than a few days without water. This morning I couldn't help feeling angry that I said what I said in front of everyone, but really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then, all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. I have a feeling something is about to happen. How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What, what was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. As soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with ambivalence toward everything began to overpower my body. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Another confusing dream. Surprise. My body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy that I can't move. Also, it's really cold. Fiercely cold. As if the core of my body is getting numb. But... I need to go to Great Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. 
Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had left and crawled out of bed. What time is it? Though I felt incredibly weak from hunger, I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Ah, it's already five minutes till 7 a.m. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity, but if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble, not just me. And I don't even have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grape Tower. Once again, I have to get out of the room. Ah! Now I can go to Grape Tower. Apparently, no, I cannot. Time to go downstairs. Hello. Hello. You seem energetic. <laughs> What's so funny? She's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Um. No. Um. No. That's wrong. Chiaki, you too. Are you about to head over to Grape Tower? Yep. God, I can't imagine what it feels like just to just to have just starving like that. It sounds bad to say, but I can't imagine what it feels like. On the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. Chapter 4. Do Ultimate Robots Dream of Clockwork? Deadly Life. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! A violent shiver coursed through my body. My heart began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating intensely. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. Why? Why is this happening? It's so strange. He finally... He finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare, please, just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. I can't deny this truth, but why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey. Akane. Move. Akane pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekomaru. Man, she's lost him like three times. Nekomaru. Why did he have to die again? I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time. <laughs> the 
damn it. So cruel. Oh. Damn it. I won't forgive you. Don't. You talking about Nekomaru? Phew. Um. Hmm. Yep. In other words... So... It's the Monokuma file! Of course. Red bean bread and milk! I kind of figured that was coming. <laughs> Damn it. God, I hate you. I won't forgive you. Yeah, we have to eat. See? Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it! Never expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Hey! Hey! We ate our food in silence. Slowly, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. <sighs> Isn't that wonderful? I'm gonna do it! However... You mean the guys in the Strawberry House? Now that you mention it, no one's here. Mm. Unbelievable. What are you gonna do? Everyone ditched? Does everyone include us do too? Do your best. Um. Huh? Damn it. Yo. That sound. What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um. They're gonna come. That's not my line. You're right. They should have heard the body discovery announcement already. They'll probably come soon. Maybe. Yep. Yeah, you're right. I gotta do it. I have to do it. First, I need to look at the Monokuma file. Ugh. <sighs> The victim is Nekomaru Nidai, a.k.a. Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Great Tower, which is inside the Funhouse. His head is severely damaged and beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to a severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of his body are damaged. Because of this, many of his functions seem to have shut down. His arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to a severe impact. Does that mean Nekomaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? But 
Was there a reason they needed to club him over and over again? <sighs> well, I already have a couple of suspects. Primary in my mind. But, I've been playing for a couple of hours now. I probably should stop. Now that we're onto the fourth murder investigation, things will be getting a lot more exciting again. Again. As always, guys. Well... Thank you all so much for continuing to watch and everything. I'm still loving this game. I'm kind of sad because I think it's coming to its conclusion pretty soon. I mean, we don't have anybody left. <laughs> so, I've enjoyed this crazy little ride with you guys, but hopefully it'll go on a little bit more. At least I hope so. But, well, anyway. My name is Kronos006. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I'm enjoying bringing it to you. But I must be signing off for now. Take care.